Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pella, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia, on this Thursday morning. And continuing from yesterday's reading with Matthew chapter 14, verses 1 through 12 today. At that time, Herod the ruler heard reports about Jesus, and he said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead, and for this reason these powers are at work in him. For Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because John had been telling him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Though Herod wanted to put him to death, he feared the crowd, because they regarded him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company, and she pleased Herod so much that he promised, on oath, to grant her whatever she might ask. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Baptist here on the platter. The king was grieved, yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he commanded it to be given. He sent and had John beheaded in the prison, the head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, who brought it to her mother. His disciples came and took the body and buried it. Then they went and told Jesus. Please join me now in a time together in prayer this morning. Let's pray together. Almighty God, everything that you do reveals your glory and majesty. Open our eyes to see what you are doing in our lives. Let us marvel at your good gifts and your wise provision. We cannot comprehend the number of blessings that you pour out on us from day to day. As we are reminded of you every day when seeing your amazing acts happen in our own lives, we pray that you would fill our hearts, our minds, and our souls with your spirit today. Transform us, Lord, and make us more like you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. Hope you all have a great day today.